Protecting what's on your phone can be as important for some as locking your front door, especially since over the past few years, more people in Britain have become increasingly obsessed with smartphones. On average, about two-thirds of the country own one, spending around two hours a day using them. According to Ofcom, we're also spending twice as long online with our smartphones than on our laptops or personal computers. Messaging service WhatsApp may be one of the biggest in the game, handling more than 30 billion messages each day sent by over 700 million users. As a result, WhatsApp has now become 50% more popular than the traditional text message. In order to make its messaging service more secure, WhatsApp have released a new end-to-end -end encryption code free with their latest update. The code ensures only you and the person you're communicating with can read what is sent and nobody in between, not even WhatsApp. With more people using these type of apps, are they concerned about who might be looking at what they send? We spoke to some Lincoln phonoholics to see if they thought mobile security was an issue for them. It's obviously important because I've got a lot on my phone and basically live my life off it, so... Imagine if you got hacked, then everything would get leaked and that's like all your personal stuff, in it. I do think that it is very important, but I don't nearly know enough about it. I've recently just got a new phone and I've just downloaded lots of different apps without really checking all of the different privacy and uh, different statements that come along with it. All of your personal information is on your phone, your messages, your photos. Your photos are special to you if you lost them. You'd be lost without them. You saw all the like celebrity pictures and that kind of thing um people's phones and information being taken and stolen and used for things which aren't good so yeah i do think it's important imagine handing over your phone to a complete stranger letting them have free access to everything on your mobile that thought might make you worried and stressed but i spoke with dominic barrett who had first-hand experience of being hacked basically a few years ago my facebook was hacked by i'm not sure who it was but they posted a lot of uh, statuses that were quite offensive and they may have had access to my pictures and personal messages between me and my girlfriend and my parents and that kind of thing. It's a massive invasion of privacy, isn't it? And it makes you feel quite insecure and it really, you know, shows you the scope of uh, how people can just attack your personal information, get hold of it get hold of private personal messages. It's quite scary, quite daunting actually. When I first found out, I actually found out through a friend who told me that, well, he kind of asked me why these statuses were being put up. And we put two and two together, realised what was happening. And I managed to get hold of my account and deactivate it, but I didn't use it for a long time. I've only recently reactivated it, so. I don't personally use WhatsApp myself, but it makes you feel a bit more secure knowing that they're working on the issues, making it hard for people to access your personal information. It's important that everyone keeps in mind their own mobile phone security. However, WhatsApp's new privacy features shouldn't mean you forget about keeping your personal information safe. For more information about the changes WhatsApp have made and keeping safe on the web, head to our website at Siren Online.